Hamsat State Historic Park. People getting married over here. And the food network is filming right here. Ah, uh, let's go. Walk over there. It's very shaky without my uh So this is the park where you could uh, ride your bike. I'll wait for you. Well then, why don't you go too? No, I'm fine. <laughs> Look, they're doing it like a cookout. They're doing a cooking show? Yeah, it's a food network. They're doing a cooking show. So that's the bike lane down, further down, that heads to the beach. I don't touch the top, my helmet's on fire. Yeah, it's very hot today. I know, it's like my helmet's on fire. And that's the entrance. She's backtracking. See these people at the back? These are extras. Because they need the background to have people walking around, pretend it's natural. But the background they're using, actually over here, you see that they're filming in the back? So they need people in the back. These are extras, like actors, in the background, pretending that they're looking around and shopping for food and stuff. No, the extras. Because they need the people in the background to do that. They so they're just, in? yeah, they're just walking around naturally. Wait, so if you walk in there, you're part of the show? Yeah, just don't walk in it. I don't, I don't think she wants to be part of that show. Uh, She's not even going to be part of the show. I think she wants to get something at the farmer's market, but then she's afraid that she's going to get filmed, so... I just think she would do that. I don't know. Yeah, so the show is called Take 5. It's outdoor barbecue. So that... Don't touch it. Dude, I did... That was an accident. That was an accident. <laughs> so I'm going to head into the wall garden in here. This is still the entrance of the park. So this is inside a wall garden. Um, It's a typical squarish garden divided into four quadrants. So there's one quadrant here, one quadrant down there, one quadrant over here.
and then to the center is the water fountain. It is a very typical, uh, I would say, English style garden. Normally there's a fountain in the middle. I'm gonna head back out. There's really nothing to look at in here. Nothing special about this garden. So people are still filming over there. And as I mentioned before, those people in the tents, those are extras <laughs> for the show take five. So all these, all these are like extras and actors just taking photo of, you know, pretending they're shopping. This is one of the houses here at the park. So you see back there, those are horses in the back. People train a cross train over here. So here's the horse range. You see people are cleaning the horses. There's a lot of horses here. And I think people uh, rent out stalls and uh, keep the horses here for training or riding the horses. It's a cute little horse. All right, all right, just looking at the horses. Wow, look at that. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. So this is the trail, woods on both sides. Mark number 16, that's my bike. Look, here's a secret. Remember the secret place here? Guys, you ride into it? You can ride into it, but it's all grass in here. Look, look Winston, remember this place? Look at this. There's an entire field of just grass. Grass everywhere. And look at this. No horses beyond this point. So this is, I guess, the place where they train horses. This is like a horse park where horses could just roam around and you could practice tricks with them. So you could consider this like a, the horse, the horse's playground. All right, let me come back out. That's my bike. All right, I'm gonna try the bike mount and see if it works riding on a bike. I hope it's uh, I hope it's steady. All right, let's go.
Oh, I'm going uphill here. It's going to be a little bit tough. One good thing about living in the suburbs is that there's a lot of these type of parks, you know, for you to do uh, outdoor activities. Particularly this one, Kamsat State Park. There's bike trails for you around the whole park. It's a few acres of land. You also get to train your horses here. All right, I am gonna stop here. This is the beach area. To the end is Lori Point. A nice tree. So we're at the beach. So this is, uh, I think it's called Lloyd Harbor. It's on the North Shore. It's the section to the right of Oyster Bay. So you see all the way to the end, that's north. I think that's either Connecticut. I think that's probably Connecticut over there. And then over here, I think over there is uh, the Bronx. So all the way over the end, in the last video, we were up there, and now we're down here. So that's Lloyd Point all the way to the end. The rocks here, I mean the, the water here, is, it's a little murky. North Shore is not really for swimming, but it's, it's sort of like a... It's usually for boating. You see, it's a lot of rocks here. Usually people go swimming at the south shore of Long Island. The south shore is at the Atlantic Ocean. So you see that's a lot of rocks here. What do you think of this beach? Dirty. I just see a lot of rocks here. This is not even sand. Oh, that's a nice, big, shiny rock here. Look at this. Ooh, look at that. that. Wow, look at this one. This one, right? I'll take this. Yeah, anyone that likes rocks. Oh, look at this one. I mean, look at this one. Oh, there's a lot of nice rocks here.
sound of ocean waves. So there's a house up there. Uh, but I don't think I could bike up. It's, it's a little bit too steep for me to bike up there. So I think I'll just take a detour to that road back there. <laughs> 